Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, well, <laughs> we were traveling through the facility as T3, and we had just come out of the fuel depot to notice apparently more droids had come out with shielding now. So we'll see how we do with them in the mix. But Shock Arm seems to be doing just fine through them too. So I don't even need to worry a thing about it. Wow. Okay. Well, they are not proving to be any threat <laughs> with the Shock Arm equipped. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I don't need to worry anything about it. Alright, I think I had also picked up some mines, which means I should be able to open this sealed door with at least one of them. And now run away. And now it's popped open. 3CFD. That was the other droid that was on the uh, Ebon Hawk with me, wasn't it? I feel like it was. So I'll just pop this open. Energy shield and computer spike. Good. And then this plasteel cylinder. Molinanine edge credits and components. Ooh. Energy shield and another droid flamethrower. Okay. That's fine. This utility droid looks as if it has suffered irreparable damage. Well, crap. So much for having another buddy on my little trip around. Oh, well. It's worth a shot, I guess. Okay, so that's not an option. Hangar bay door is probably not an option. Uh, fuel depot door. Nope. Wait, what? Override it from the console. Okay, that's what I thought I read. <laughs> Just making sure that my brain comprehended that properly. Okay, I do have more repair parts now, so I can do this. Functionality restored. Um... Access the hangar bay layout. I don't think I need that that desperately. Access emergency control commands. Okay. Hmm. Run a diagnostic on damaged systems. Diagnostic running. All emergency subsystems rerouted. Fuel depot terminal. Access to the Paragus emergency subsystems has been rerouted to a fuel depot computer terminal and the connecting circuits have been burned out with a mining laser, preventing remote access. Alright. The damage cannot be repaired. You'll need to find the fuel depot terminal to activate the Paragus emergency systems. Check the status. Okay, if the buttons would let me do the thing. There we go. Emergency lockdown procedure activated. Hangar bay sealed fuel depot sealed. Open the blast doors to the uh, the fuel depot. There we go. I can go in there at least. You know, free access to the fuel depot. Good. Um, can I open the blast door to hangar 25? Hangar 25 door control conduit removed. The door to the hangar bay where the Ebon Hawk lies has had its power conduit surgically removed considering everything else was bored out with a mining laser that's interesting you cannot slice this terminal or make a workaround for it out of parts you'll need to replace the original circuit in order for it to open okay access the hangar logs docking and takeoff procedures all incoming and outcoming or rather outgoing <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy, that was bad phrasing. All incoming and outgoing freighters need orbital drift charts transmitted from Paragus in order to navigate the asteroid field surrounding the mining colony. Without it, any vessel entering or leaving Paragus is in danger of being destroyed in the asteroid field. Transmit those drift charts to the Navi computer. Download error access denied. Evan Ebenhawk Navi computer locked. You can't download the charts to the Ebonhawk because someone has encrypted the Navi computer. You'll need to find a way to get them onto the Ebonhawk when you are ready for takeoff. Can we just download them now then? The orbital drift charts are constantly being updated. If you download the charts now, they will quickly become obsolete. Download the charts just before takeoff. Okay. Alright. I'll do that. Let's look at the hangar logs then. For contraband. 253-12. A lot of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well to prevent further system compromises. That's the probably a good idea. Hold should yeah. be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Which we did. Okay, well... <laughs> At least we followed what rules the game set out for us. Maintenance violation. Who ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter? Huh? I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs. Especially with half the work shifts in Medbay. Oof. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it spaceworthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. Interesting. So, not only were they programmed to mine organics within the facility, they were also being programmed to fix the ship. Navi computer lock. Looks like those droids got the vessel working again, even with all the damage it had taken. Oh. The maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Navi computer. It's been voice locked. Maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship, like the old woman. Mm. If so, that ship isn't going anywhere, unless we rip out the Navi computer and put in a new one, if we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Navi computer is to hide their astrogation charts. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going, or where it had been. Only smugglers do that, or someone with something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. Gotcha. That is interesting information. Okay. So, the ship was repaired fully due to whatever shenanigans have been going on with the robots. It just needs the Navi computer to be unlocked for us to do anything with it question is how did they intend on getting past that turn to main functions um remote camera controls hangar 25 doesn't seem to be anything in there main cargo hold we were already in there security cargo room we were already in there decontamination area oh that doesn't look good. Alright. In the comm system, run diagnostic on damaged systems for the communication system, which seems to be inoperative. Diagnostic running. Signal unit destroyed. Comm system from hangar, inoperative. It looks as if the communication system was purposefully burned out with a mining laser. Even if you had the parts, you don't think you could contact the administration level from this computer. Okay, well, I have learned all I think I'm going to learn from this console. 
now it's time to move on. Hello, more robots. That are dying in one hit thanks to my shock arm. <laughs> oh, at this point it's not even like I should be using the... <laughs> ...basic attack function because it's not even worth it. Jesus. That is amazing. All right. Broken raid. Deflector Mark One and repair kit. Okay. I can't loot any of these, right? And that is a no. Okay. Well, that deflector might be good. Might as well put that on. Yep. There we go. Def uh, impact armor mark one and then the deflector mark one the impact armor is designed to help absorb some of the wear and tear droids can take in an active workplace and save the chassis from major damage little more than a dust cover for the internal components of droids mark one is still a considerable improvement over nothing fair enough deflector absorbs energy electric ion uh, 200 seconds or max damage taken. So it goes up to 50 points. All right. Deflectors provide limited protection against all types of energy. Mark 1 shields are used primarily by astromech droids to protect their chassis from the particulate radiation they come into contact with when exposed to open space. Oh, yeah. Like that one uh, segment of episode 1. Because apparently that's how they're usually used. I don't, I don't know about that, but all right. Okay, optimized interface. Ooh, should have put that on. Uh, additional computer use plus two. This interface is streamlined for more efficient and thus more effective interactions with commu computer terminals. I was about to say commuter terminals. That ain't right. Not even close. All right. Well, what would that put my skill with computers at, anyway? Probably pretty high. Yeah, 12. Jeez, at that point, I might not have even needed the, uh... Might not have even needed to use a spike if I had used that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Booyah! Alright. Oh, there's a footlocker here. Nice. Basic Ionite Edge, Components, and Sonic Grenade. Okay, the Ionite Edge would be pretty okay against uh, robots. So hopefully that, <laughs> that gets shared with me. So that would be very useful. Extremely useful, in fact. Containment Field. Containment field blocks access to the fuel lines below. There seems to be no way to open it. Well, I would assume not, considering it's an energy door. There seems to be something going on over there, too. Interesting. And then there's... Oh! There's robots over there, too. That door there seems to be broken. And I got, like, three energy doors for containment fields. Cuts the fuel depot off from the hangar bay, but you don't see any way to open it or get around it. At least not from here. Wow. Oh, is that a terminal? I guess that's a terminal. Fuel control station. All right. Access remote cameras. Fuel line sensors. The fuel line deposits fuel into docked starships. Since no ships are currently docked at the Paragus facility, it is sealed. There appears to be some sort of metal case lying inside the fuel pipe, but you can't make it out. I did see that. Maintenance level? Ah, oh, that was where I was to get those uh, mines and parts and stuff. Entrance to droid maintenance area? Ah, that. Droid maintenance area has been sealed by the emergency lockdown. However, new programming has been introduced to keep it from opening even if the lockdown is cancelled. 
There's no way to shut down the field that you can see from this terminal. This means anyone inside the facility is effectively cut off from the hangar bay. That isn't normal either. What the hell? Uh, Call-up system log. Within the past day, a series of explosions within the Paragus mining facility has enacted an emergency lockdown. Someone has sliced into the fuel depot computers and created a phantom fuel leak, sealing off the area with force fields to contain the blast, quote-unquote. It looks as if someone has been using the lockdown to systematically isolate sections of the facility. Okay. Why would they do that? Well, I mean, now that I think about it, that makes a lot of sense. If you're trying to make sure you have a path off the station with your stolen, you know, drugged up Jedi and make sure no one else gets in your way, that would easily be the way to do it. Call up emergency schematics. Emergency system schematics status deactivated. Open emergency hatch on Paragus administration level. Lucky that that worked. Okay. Administration level opening done. Beautiful. Let's log out of here. Oh, no. The hell happened to T3? So is that stupid droid of yours going to come through or not? Give him a little more well, I'm time. I'm to think I was a little better off in my... Yeah, you always think you're better off in your cell. Shut up. Whiny. Hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. Hmm. It looks like it, but it's strange he didn't contact us on the comm. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Hmm. I see. I have two options here. The turbo lifts are locked down manually, so I had him open the emergency hatch. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Well, I mean, there's three options here. It's dangerous in those tunnels and you're going on me. Wow, that would be dark side, for sure. Um, maybe, but it's the only way out, and it's better I risk my life than yours. You're either really brave or really crazy, or both. Yeah, both. Right. We'll go I'll with try both. Try to monitor things from up here. But be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids. So uh -huh. don't be playing hero too hard. Well, uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Your concern is noted. I'll be going now. I'll keep the comm link open. I may be able to guide you through the tunnels from up here. I don't know if the signal will hold if you get too deep, though. That's fair. You have received a comm link. Party members or others may use it to contact you to help you or provide information. Cool. Light side points gained. Alrighty. Whee! Away we go! Back the way we came! All the way back. I forget. Was there don't think there was a workbench on the way back. I don't think there was. Alright, the mining tunnels. Here we go! Constitution determines what types of implants a character can equip. Used to be just an implant perk, but now it's all based on constitution. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense. Can you read me? <laughs> I could mention that Kray is telepathic, possibly. Alright. Barely. There's a lot of static. There's a lot of interference down there. Probably caused by that explosion. Still, yeah. it looks like there's a route down to the Paragus fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an okay. emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. Alright. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, alert me immediately if you pick up anything else. Will do. Cool. What we got here? Miner uniform, med pack, survey gear, Telos mining shield, and safety harness. 
Okay, interesting. Yes, it looks like there's some clothes in here. About time. The whole half naked Jedi thing was wearing a little thin. But there may what? be survey gear and a safety harness inside the crate too. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. Hmm. Some kind of mining energy shield in this crate too. Yeah, it's like a military issue energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. It should work against the droid mining lasers. It won't hmm. last forever, and certainly not against multiple laser hits. But it may buy you some time if you get ambushed by a battalion of droids. Alrighty. Okay, I could just say no more advice or uh just ask how it works, which I think I already know, but just in the interest of keeping the whole line of conversation going. All right. How comforting. Tell me how it works. Just equip it on your wrist and then you can activate it like a med pack. Again, it won't last forever, so make it count. All right. Understood. Anything else? Uh, just one more thing. Oh, boy. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. Joy, you tell me about it being useful against a battalion when I already have a battalion with me. Joy, any advice on taking out these droids? Well, these are construction models. They shoot like a moisture farmer militia. Since they rely on ranged weapons, get in close with a melee weapon and start bashing them. Close mm -hmm. combat, the guy with the vibro blade has the edge over the guy with the rifle, droid or not. Gotcha. Otherwise, just drill them from a distance. If they're not shielded, that is. Shielded? Yeah, it's possible some of the droid models may have mining shields on. If so, the shields may absorb laser fire. You can usually tell when a shield is active. It'll make an electrical field around the target. Mm -hmm. If they activate a shield, the best thing you can do is hit them with a melee weapon or try to burn out the shield with continual fire. But that could take a while, and it leaves you a target. Gotcha. I'll do that. Anything else? There's got to be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence. Okay. Sounds good to me. Got more parts. And we get to go forward. Any robots? Well, there's a dead robot. There's some mines. Interesting. I should probably put on those things. <laughs> Defense bonus plus one. Really? Just one? This is a standard uniform worn by miners at the Paragus facility. It provides minimal protection, but can be upgraded with some underlays. Okay, if I find some underlays, that'd be good. Damage resistance against Sonic plus one awareness. When surveying new asteroid claims, this headgear is designed to help identify both pockets of Paragian gas... I think that's how it's supposed to be pronounced and any thermal charges in the area a small sonic generation and receiving gear within the helmet is designed to absorb any high decibel emissions from sonic charges and sonic grenades good enough uh put on the safety harness for plus one demolitions okay this Telos Mining Safety Harness is designed to aid a miner in setting and removing demolition charges within asteroid mining claims. Cool. And Normal Energy Shield and the Telos Mining Shield. This one absorbs just heat, though. Energy Shield just absorbs energy and electrical. But this goes up to 40 points. The Mining Shield goes up to 20. Interesting. Okay. Vibro bled, and that is it. Okay, cool. All right, I can't do anything <laughs> other than just stun. Oh boy, well, it might be the only option I got. But first, I'm gonna loot this droid components and parts. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not going to be able to recover the mine, unfortunately, from the look of it. So, I guess the only thing I can do to keep myself safe is make it go kaboom. Watch where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines down there. 
Don't run unless you have to. Makes them harder to spot. Gotcha. You have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them against the droids. That is, if the mines don't get you first. If you have survey gear or a safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. Already done. Why aren't there so many charges down here? Those mining droids, especially the excavator models, are designed to arm and set sonic charges for mining. Mm -hmm. Chances are, if they still had charges after they went rogue, then they may have set them to try and kill the miners. And you, if you see one of those Joy. excavators, watch out. They may use their undeployed charges as projectiles. Fan fucking fantastic. All right. Well, if you see. Okay, I understood. Stray cat out. All right, cool. That's all done. More components and parts, always good. And I guess the only other option, direction-wise, is oh, it's a damaged mining droid. So it's not hostile yet. Okay. This mining droid looks like it was damaged in whatever explosion took place in the tunnels. It is currently inactive. I have ten repair parts. Well, let's activate it. Um, I don't have enough parts to optimize the weaponry and targeting systems while also setting it in patrol mode. Huh. Crap. Well. Guess we'll leave it alone for now. Or, I'll just set it in patrol mode and it'll help me a little bit. Patrol mode engaged. Once you end this session, the droid will begin patrol and destroy any enemies it encounters. Okay. Once you end the session, the droid's program will be locked in. You will not be able to modify the droid anymore, although you will be able to detonate its core if it's blocking your progress. Interesting. Good to know, but I think we're done. All right. Patro engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry off your carry out your programmed instructions cool it is now done and now it'll help me with the other droids nice <laughs> it's actually doing a good job with it well that worked out beautifully uh more flurry haha <laughs> then another stun is feck you. And then feck you to you. <laughs> cool. That worked out beautifully. But that's as far as you're going to go? Okay. I guess that was as far as it was going to go. No, wait. <laughs> going to keep moving. Good. Alright, let's... Ooh, components and a sonic grenade. Awesome. Good to see. Whoop. Just noticed the remains on this one. The robot was carrying credits? Okay. Alright. I won't question it any further. Man, this is useful. <laughs> this was possibly the smartest idea. I ever had. <laughs> there we go. And we will deal with you. I will let this droid continue to help me until there is no help to be had left. Okay. There we go. Oh, well, that's done. Okay, cool. Ow! Could have waited until I was past it, bud. Ow! Alright. Adrenal stamina, repair kit, credits, and advanced mining laser. Okay. 
advanced mining laser is a blaster rifle. Okay. So advanced industrial mining laser can double as a makeshift blaster rifle. And I can tell. 112. That's actually not too bad. Huh. Sealed doors and containers. Well, I might want to keep that on me then, just in case. For no other reason to help me get through any containers that might come up. Alright. Oh, is that as far as it's going to go? Or is it pathfinding broken? Hard to say. It might be pathfinding broken. No, that noise is going to get annoying. Is that? Is that? I guess it's done. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh, more energy shields and mining shields. Fantastic. Good. Alright, well, I guess the droid is done. Because now it's moving on back. It's... Okay, let's just disable it for now. It'd be nice if I got my repair parts back if I did that, but... Not gonna happen. Ah, well. Oh. That doesn't hey, look good. Out. That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, switch it on. It should protect you against the heat if you move quickly enough. Okay. Understood. Stray cat out. Jesus. Alright. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Turn that on. And run time! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, well... I got most of the way through it before it started damaging me. Ow. Owie. Alright. More... Mines? I was about to say Granada, and that ain't right. Technically. Okay. Nothing in here that I can use. Oh boy, that's a lot of those. Joy. Six, that was 80 credits. Uh, more energy shields, an adrenal strength, and Telos mining shield. Okay. Alright. Hmm. I'm going to wait for my force points to regenerate. Mainly because against that big one, the big target, which isn't actually all that big, it's a small one. You can see that in camera. Reggie, could you zoom in on that? Thank you. Um, that one, in particular, that one is A, explosive, and B, going to heal them if I don't do anything about it. So I want to make sure I have at least some force points to deal with it. Ow! Oh. I didn't know the face portrait would fade away, too. This is not that cinematic a shot, but <laughs> at least it provides it. Well, I mean, the minimap's still there, so mm, it's not that cinematic, but not the point. Alright, so I think I'm as ready and good as I'm going to be. I'll get this broken droid looted. Components and sonic grenade. Fantastic. And let's blow up that maintenance droid. Really? That didn't do it? Really? That is shenanigans. At least I can easily take care of these guys. I don't even have to worry about it. Alright, well... This is going to hurt. Okay, this is really going to hurt. Okay, does that cheaty doodle trick still work? <laughs> oh, and it has a filter labeling system. So you can always tell where you are in the filtered inventory. Oh, that's so nice. 
I completely forgot that that was a function in 2 instead of 1. 1, you had to just <laughs> pay attention to what the filter said. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, it's so many useful features. And it still works. The trick still works. Oh, that's great. All right. Well, I'll go through all of that just so I mark it off. There we go. Cool. Okay. End of combat round. Really? I'm not hitting at all? Okay. Oh, boy, that hurt. Oh, Jabus. Well, you're done. And the other one died in the explosion. Cool. And done. Perfect. Any remains on any of them? Nope. Okay. Well, since I got the level up, let's take it and use it. Alright. Persuade. Injury, security, and computer use. Yeah, that's true. that should be good. Feats. Um, hmm. I already have two weapon fighting. Don't need to worry about that. Light armor proficiency. Hmm. Where should I go with this feat? Because I can't do anything significant with it in improved flurry or anything. Oh! Flurry only does a negative two def to defense while using this feat and for three seconds afterwards. Wasn't it like negative four in the first game? I think it was. Oh, it's a plus four penalty to attacks that round. Okay, that makes sense. All right. All right. It's negative one to defense and negative two penalty. And Master Flurry has no penalties. Cool. Well, at that point, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna aim for anything else other than that. Uh, toughness would be nice. Oh, it would be very nice right now. Ooh, so nice. Um, dual strike, advanced training using teamwork to defeat enemies. All right, finesse with lightsabers and melee weapons, and nothing else I really need to go for. Okay, well, in that case, let's go for toughness, because that would be useful in the long term. Extra one vitality point every time we level up. Cool, and that brings me to decent level of vitality once this is all done. Powers. What should I go with for powers? Um, Affect Mind would be useful later. I don't need anything else for right now. Especially since, you know, everything down here is force power. Mind Trick. I should say dark side force power. That's what I meant to say. Everything but push. Um, yeah, let's go with effect mind. Effect mind enables persuasive use of the force. Once a Jedi has his power, extra options will appear in conversations as appropriate. Success is not guaranteed for extreme commands or if the target is strong-willed. This power does not affect droids. Only the main player character can select this power during the level up. Okay, well then, that means it's for me. There we go. My vitality is now at 58. Okay, that ain't too bad. You're getting close to something big. I think it's the main ventilation shaft. Okay. So the central droid controller should be somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out for it. I'm picking up a lot of droids. If you still have a mining energy shield, I'd equip it and switch it on. Okay. Sounds good to me. There aren't just mining droids down here. There are sensor balls, too. Sensor? That must be maintenance drones. Now watch out. Those little pests will try to repair the mining droids if you don't gun them down first. Still, it's odd they're still active after the explosion. They don't have the same shielding as the mining droids. Be careful of those droids. I don't like this. 
All right, understood. Stray cat out. And it's gone. What was visible in that cutscene is now gone. Okay. Well. I wonder if the droid control system is right here. Ooh, more chemicals, a med pack to make up for the one I had to use. And credits. Cool. Central controller. All right. Paragus Central Mining Control. Emergency lockdown activated. Explosions reported in fuel chambers. Oh, that would use up all my spikes. Yeesh. Uh, troll... Troll up? I was about to say <laughs> troll up instead of call up. Boy. Someone save me. <laughs> Someone save me from myself. Call up droid command functions. Uh... Reassign droid mining protocols to mine sealed doors. That would be nice. Check droid schematics. The droid schematics look like a mess to you. It's hard separating what's a circuit and what's a connecting feed. You close the schematics. Okay, fair enough. Uh, to mine sealed doors. That'd be something. Plus, I have enough computer spikes to do it. But, let's see what else I can do. Fuel containment functions. Shut down the containment fields, which means all of those are now shut off. Cool. Emergency supply cylinder. I'm pretty sure I can open that on my own. Access camera functions. Unidentified Hollow record camera. Work claim 1234. Hollow sequence recorded. Playback initiated. Everybody here? What's up, Kurda? We're supposed to be Korda. sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with him on Malachor 5. Malachor 5? So he's one of the survivors. Or worse, a Mandalorian. So what? Not a survivor, idiot. He's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. If he's one of the Jedi, hell, we can't have him walking around here. He'll... Well, I don't know what he'll do. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War, weren't they? Guess they missed one. But it gets better. I did some checking, and that bounty on Nar is still alive. What? You want to sell the Jedi to the Exchange? Korda, have you been chewing spice? Look, you know how big that bounty is? That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Gorda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. Interesting. Someone has taken care to delete the record of this camera being placed. It is not listed on any of the work records. Interesting. Okay. So that camera was placed there to specifically get that conversation? That's weird. And from the sound of it, Corda was willing to sell me to the exchange, which makes sense, considering the biggest villain on the crew, from the sound of it, just wanted to get off this rock. As he put it. And apparently his buddies were kind of against the idea Huh. And it turns out that even if I hadn't, even if I hadn't uh, had the protocol droid, whoever that is, uh, blab about my secret identity, secret, quote unquote, then one of the miners was going to find out who I was and blab about it anyway. Because apparently they served with me on Malachor 5. Huh. Emergency hatch to administration level. Okay. Emergency hatch to fuel depot. Oh, that has some robots there. Okay. Return to main functions. Unlock emergency supply cylinder. Uh, be useful. Don't have enough spikes to make everything else work, though. 
upgrade command functions. Okay. Let's just open this up. Ow! I wouldn't have been able to open it anyway, because it was an energy field. Well, it's now unlocked. Good. Cool. No, I don't need to focus on them. Plasteel cylinder. There we go. Security tunneler, sonic grenade, and med pack. Okay. Uh, droid commands. Add other droids to droid mining. It would be so much nicer if I had an extra freaking... So much easier if I had a freaking extra, just one extra computer spike, but that's not going to happen. Okay, well. Well, time to do some beating. Alright. Oh boy. This is going to get real ugly real fast. Unless I can deal with them quickly. Alright. Well, luckily, I am seeming to deal with them quickly. What the hell did I just do? <laughs> what the hell did I just do? Alright. There we go. Time to get you. Okay. Perfect. And you're dealt with. Okay, uh, well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Some remains, okay, well, got some remains there too. Taurus survival gloves. Taurus. Saves all plus one. These gloves' name is a marketing tactic to remind people that a little extra protection is a good investment. Developed by Zerka following the bombardment of Taurus by Darth Malak, these all-purpose gloves became quite popular. Well, I'm sure they did become popular, but naming them after Taurus by Zerka, who worked for the Sith... That doesn't sit right with me. But, hey, as long as it worked. At least it worked in the basic function. The med pack? Why would a droid be carrying a med pack? You know what? I don't care. As long as it worked out. For moi. Another computer spike. Ow! Wish I knew that the computer spike was there now. Ah. Is there even any point anymore? I don't think there is, especially since I wiped out two-thirds of them already. There we go. And let's deal with this excavator droid. Oh, there's another droid, too. Ow. How about bugger off? There's another droid nearby from the sound of it. No, there wasn't. Chemicals, components, repair kit, and credits. Cool. And Precision Chamber Mark 1. I think that's an upgrade for uh, Devaronian Edge. Mild Devaronian Edge. Okay. Ah, there we go. Alright, and now that I have basically cleared out this area, there is nothing I really need to worry about, more or less. So I guess that's a high security door. Security failure. Okay. Oh, that means just do it again until it works. Okay, cool. That's easy to do. And picking up some strange readings. What are you doing down there? What uh trust me, whatever you've detected, it's Probably my fault. The containment fields in the mining tunnels are shutting down. You need to get out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels. 
how much time do I have? I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick, because where you are is going to get real hot real soon. Joy. Okay. Well, in that case, I might as well use that computer spike to make them... Oh, what do I make them do? You know what? It's the end of the episode anyway. I'll decide that in the next episode. Aha! Cliffhangers again. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and doing my best to get through this whole section of the Paragus Mining Facility. Uh, while well, there's also a battalion of robots apparently fighting me every step of the way. I've luckily gotten through two-thirds of this section. It's just the last section before I get out of here. Hopefully it won't be too much longer than that for you.